The Global Fairness Initiative honored three women with the Fairness Award Tuesday for their exceptional contribution to poor and marginalized communities. The honorees were Malawi President Joyce Banda, who appeared in a pre-taped video presentation, Lucy Kanu, founder of Idea Builders from Nigeria, and ambassador at large for global women's issues, Melon Vervier. Several ambassadors and members of the U.S. Congress were among the guests at GFI's third annual Fairness Award in Washington. Karen Tramontano, GFA, GFI president, started the organization with former U.S. President Bill Clinton in 2003 to end the cycle of poverty around the world. Tramontano says the honorees represent GFI's vision and mission. She says Banda was not chosen just because she's the new president of Malawi. Well, you know, she started out as a grassroots leader. Um, she was an advocate for uh, women's rights. Um, and she was an educator, and then she engaged in politics, and she was foreign minister, um, and then became the vice president of the country, and then the president of the country. So she demonstrates how important it is to keep those linkages between the grassroots and the grass tops. Milan Vivere's life work has been dedicated to working with grassroots leaders globally. And when she founded Vital Voices about 12 years ago now, I think, she really focused on keeping that connectivity among women leaders. And Lucy Canu is our, she's our grassroots leader, um, and she is demonstrating the fact that if you wake up every day and you worry about how to change the economic livelihood of the poor, it can be done. John Podesta, former White House Chief of Staff to former President Bill Clinton, presented the award to Lucy Kanu. Kanu says she hopes the recognition by GFI will lead to more funding for her organization's various projects. We work in 11 um, states out of 36, and, but we have projects in 18 of those uh, cities. Then we also work in rural communities. So we have little projects going on in a, quite a number of places. For example, we have 31 communities where we're working, aside from the 11 states. So we drill down our programs to make sure that we target and reach women at the grassroots. So my being in Lagos is strategic because we, we found it difficult to raise uh, funds for rural programs, given that the, non, the corporate sector would need to identify their in. Melon Vivere received her award from former governor and now U.S. Senator for New Hampshire, Jean Shaheen. We have been working really hard to integrate uh, issues that affect women and girls around the world into all of the work of the State Department. Uh, so whether they have to do with security or economics or the environment or governance, uh, human rights, uh, but we have uh, been able to, with uh, President Obama's leadership, have the first United States National Action Plan on Women, Peace, and Security. And women in Africa know a great deal about 1325 and why women are essential uh, to conflict resolution and post-conflict peace building. Now, following the event, the guests, as we've already mentioned, included ambassadors and members of the U.S. Congress, were treated to a performance by the group Sweet Honey in the Rock, who sang various renditions of popular songs, including Mercy, Mercy Me by the late Marvin Gaye.